Yes, this is a woodworking channel. Why a KVM switch? Let me explain. Welcome back to my workshop. Now, let me explain. Uh, the reason that I'm fitting this KVM switch uh, is because it stands for keyboard, video, and mouse. And in my workshop, I have two lots of keyboards, two lots of videos, and two lots of mice. Okay, uh, let me show you where they are. Okay, so at the moment, what I have is my CNC machine, okay, which runs uh, on this screen, okay? So that's one monitor. Uh, and then over here, I have a laser, which runs on my laptop, which is another screen. What I need to do is be able to switch between the computer for this and my laptop, and I'm gonna get them both to come up on that big screen, which I've just put up there. Okay, I've just done a video on that, mounting it uh, onto the wall, which is up here. Uh, so that's the idea, and in that way, what I can do, I can get rid of this screen, and I can tuck my laptop out of the way. This can go back a couple of inches, and in this workshop, which is only small, a couple of inches makes all the difference. Okay, so let me explain what a KVM switch actually is. Okay, so what is a KVM switch? Uh, let me show you my current setup. Right, so my current setup is, I have my CNC machine here, which has a screen, okay, and that's got a dedicated PC. Okay, this also has a keyboard and a mouse. Okay, that's my current CNC machine. Uh, my current laser is a laptop, okay, which has obviously got a keyboard on it, but I can plug another keyboard into it. Uh, and this has a mouse, okay? Uh, what I wanna be able to do is switch between one and the other on one big screen, okay? So then I can get rid of this screen, okay? I can get rid of this mouse and just have one keyboard, one mouse, and one big screen, okay? So this will be displayed on this screen this will be displayed on this screen, and I can just flick between one and the other. It all makes sense when I show you later. Okay, and to do that, what I need is a KVM switch. And the one I've got is this. So let's get this out of the box. Now this is an MT201KM. Uh, hasn't really got a brand name. Okay, just says it's made in China. Okay. Uh, and this is the basic setup. It shows you here. Here's, here's the actual KVM switch. It shows you splitting between two PCs and one monitor. Okay, and one keyboard and one mouse. That's what we want to achieve. Uh, now this thing only cost me about 20 pounds. So let's get it out of the box. This is from Amazon. Okay, uh, let's have a look. What do we get? A little instruction book. We get the actual KVM switch, a bit of foam, cardboard, we get a switch and two cables. Okay, so that's basically what we get. Okay, let's have a look at these one at a time. Okay, so obviously the first thing is the uh, the main player here, which is the MT Vicky KVM switch, okay, MT201KM. Uh, and you can basically see it's got two USB ports here, uh, one display adapter, uh, two display adapters, a USB connector here, and a USB C connector here, okay. And that's basically it. There's much, nothing much on this one. Switch on the top, which you use for switching between one system and the other. Okay, and next we have this, which is a remote control switch. So you basically have this sitting on your desktop, so you can use the same switch, uh, and that basically plugs directly into here. Okay, so you can either swap them over with that, or swap them over with that. Uh, and what else you get is, Two of these leads, uh, and what they've got is a USB 
and a display in one cable. Okay, so you've got your display connector here, which goes onto the PC, and this also goes onto the same PC. And then this bit goes into the switch. Okay, so you've got two of those cables. So obviously that goes into one PC, that goes into the other, and then they both connect into the KVM switch. So let's pull out my uh, computers and start plugging some stuff in. In this extensive uh, instruction booklet here, okay, it basically shows you exactly what we've got to do. It shows you which cables, how it plugs in, what it plugs into, and it ends up at the monitor. Okay, that's simple. The most tricky bit is going to be pulling the CNC machine out. Good job it's on wheels. Right, so I managed to pull it out here. I've got my uh, graphics there and the USB is plugged in here. Okay, now I can shove that back. Okay, the laptop's a lot easier because I can actually see what I'm doing. So this goes in the graphics there and then the USB simply goes in the USB port. Okay, so now I've got this end and I've got this end. Right, let's get these two into the hub. Right, so in theory, I no longer need this monitor. Uh, so I'm gonna take away this wooden bracket here uh, so I can get rid of all that lot, get it out of the way. Okay, so we have this now from the uh, CNC PC, and we have this from the laser laptop. Uh, these two need to go into this hub. Okay, so we're going to call the CNC PC1. Yeah, literally plug it in, screw it in. Obviously, this is floating around in midair at the moment. Now, this is the laptop for the laser. That plugs in. Screws in. Okay, and then this is just a single wire that goes up to the big TV. Okay, and then that goes into the output of the KVM. Okay, and then that obviously gives us what's on the CNC machine. How exciting. Right, so the CNC machine's plugged in, the laptop's plugged in, and at the moment I'm displaying what's on the CNC. If I push the uh, button here on the front of the uh, KVM, okay, it now flicks over to what's on the laptop on the big screen. Let me show you. And switch, CNC, switch, laser. Okay, but, as I said, it's got a little remote control. Let's unwind that. Okay, which is this bit. This can sit on your desktop and you can just go. Okay, flick between the PCs. Right, so that's the display side sorted out. Uh, all I need to do now is take the keyboard and mouse off of the CNC and plug it into the uh, KVM. Okay, keyboard and mouse, all you do is you disconnect the uh, keyboard and mouse from one of the computers, the one you're gonna use. Uh, then you plug in the mouse into one, the keyboard into another. Okay, so you've got mouse, keyboard, PC1, PC2, and your remote control switch. Right, so that's it, it's all working. So now I have the CNC machine displayed on here, uh, running on this PC down here. 
And just by pushing the button, I can now flick to light burn, which is running on this laptop here. Uh, and I can control them both from this keyboard and this mouse. Okay, that's all I needed to achieve. Uh, that's working okay. So let's see how it gets on. Now, obviously this whole area around here is all gonna change because uh, I wanna get my laser into an enclosure. Uh, so it'll all be a bit nicer. Okay, so that's basically it. That's fitting a KVM switch between my CNC and my laser. So I can use one big 51 inch telly in my workshop. I hope that was of some help to you. Uh, you may use the information, you may not. Right, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. So why a KVM switch, huh? <sighs> Let me explain. I've just done that, it's exactly the same as before. And I recently put a massive TV on the wind. Oh God, what's going on? <laughs> uh, which stands for keyboard monitor. No, it doesn't because that's KMV. Yeah? That's the wrong way around. What I want to do is I want to do away with this. I want to do away with this, this and this. And you just basically have one big screen. I can get rid of this. And this is all getting far too confusing. Okay, which is a keyboard monitor. I've done it again. <laughs>